The current economic hardship and the growing impact on Nigerians necessitated this emergency session summoned by the National Assembly Joint Committee on Finance. Thank, uh, most sincerely the National Crucial Assembly stakeholders such as the Central the Bank of Nigeria, Nigeria some members of the nation's economic Shia, management team, as well as the group CEO of NNPC Limited, appear before the committee to give explanation regarding the state of the nation's economy. We look forward to the NNPC providing clarity on the issue of refinery refurbishment and commissioning and help us formulate actionable strategies as legislators for economic recovery and growth. To these mountain concerns, the nation's economic managers give assurances. Uh, we are confident at the Central Bank of Nigeria that those challenging times, um, we've gone through the worst of them and we are, as a country, emerging stronger. We are quite certain, Mr. Chair, that the tough decisions that have been taken over the last 10 to 12 months are addressing some of these challenges that have been there with us for decades. A number of interventions have been approved by Mr. President. The very well-known ones were the energy transition in order to deepen CNG penetration. The uh, negotiations with the Nigerian Labour Congress has been ongoing to ensure that there is no further disruption in the economy and one has to thank again the leadership of the National Assembly. The nation's oil and gas sector, which is a major source of revenue for the government, comes under focus. We're very optimistic that by December this country will be net exporter. That means combination of production coming from us and also from the Damgote refinery and other smaller uh, producing companies that we know are in, in line to do this. Let us, by early August, the Potoko refinery all will start producing product, and of course uh, the, the new one will get to December, and Bori will also be uh, in, in production. You know, very op I'm very optimistic. I don't have any confirmation this moment so that I don't, nobody cuts me and say, oh, say this, we keep lying. So we're not lying to you, Mr. President. This is a technical process. It would be a best of intention, you can put debts on refinery startup, but it is when you get to, to start up that you see the real challenges, even for a new refinery. We have a clear plan to see how we can get, you know, two million barrels and more. And I believe that we need the support of all members of, you know, of, of the National Assembly. We need the support of all Nigerians, you know, to be able to achieve uh, um, that one. In response, the lawmakers lean on the side of optimism. This is the only time we can all come together as Nigerians to give His Excellency the President all the needed support in order to get us out of the doldrum we have been. And you can see the indicators are showing that the economy is doing well. The emergency session continued behind closed doors with the expectation that the lawmakers would provide legislative assistance to ensure that the nation's economy makes the desired impact on Nigerians. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.